Hello there, people of the internet. What's going on? Um, it's Burnsy here, and oh my fucking god. Um, I just watched three a uh, three part video series on um a link I'll leave in the description to computer and video games dot com. Real original, I know. And sorry if I'm sniffing and shit. Alright, it's all good. Um Oh wow. Um for anyone who first of all doesn't know who John Carmack is, uh he's an American programmer and the co founder of id Software. Um if you don't know any of the titles he's made, like Program 4, then you're retarded. Um, he was the lead programmer on Wolfenstein, Wolfenstein, whatever, however you want to pronounce it, 3D, Doom, Quake, and Rage. Um, Doom and Quake, easily two of the biggest titles of all time. And Quake, uh, COD, the COD engine, is based off, um, they bought the license of the Quake engine. So COD 4 and shit and all those... Um, excellent games run off the Quake engine, that's why on COD 4 if you um, have quicker FPS, like if you're playing on PC, um, if you're playing Pro Mod and shit and you run at 250 FPS, you can strafe further farther and um, you can run slightly quicker and all that kind of shit. Um, and yeah, it's fucking sick. Now, he's a very, very smart man. Anyone who follows him on Twitter knows, and any everyone from the PC community will know what I'm talking about, a few console guys that don't. Um, the guy's like fucking insanely smart. He's, <laughs> he's the lead engineer, the founder and lead engineer, sorry, of Armadillo Aerospace, which is like aerospace technology and shit. So he knows his shit. He's a fucking smart dude. And um, at E3, he's um, released a VR headset or VR goggles, um, VR meaning virtual reality. And basically it's sort of like... Um, everyone's always had this dream sort of thing that one day, you know, we'll be able to put um, a headset on sort of thing and, like, with goggles, obviously, and shit. And then we'll be a we'll be basically, you know, shooting, playing a first-person shooter or whatever or an adventure game in the world around us. And he's brought it one step closer with that. Um, and a lot of them have been pretty shitty over time, but from what he's said and, um, you know, you sort of trust the guy because... Uh, just like everything he's done in the past and that you'll sort of believe what he says he thinks it's uh one of the best things he's ever done as look at that fucking sick deagle thing switch um if you read the article like i'm going to post two articles and you watch the video um on the cbg article there's another article with um pc gamer as well you can just read and read up on what's going to be coming on in the future with um all kinds of fucking sick technology like at the moment his um prototype design sort of thing um which is literally held together with duct tape um it only sees everything at 6 what was it 640 there's like two so like to be 3D you have to have two um images so imagine this video sort of thing was actually um split in half and you were seeing two of the images one for each eye um and each retina um, it's like that, and they're both 640 by like 480, so it's like, it adds up to like 1280 by 800, he said. And, um, but when you have the 3D headset on and all that, it becomes one sort of thing, and it fuses together. And, so the pixels aren't exactly that high at the moment, and that was one of his limitation things, it's bad. But, um, the fact that they're getting like 1080p in small phone screens and all kinds of shit soon, um, basically means that it'll be like the quality that we want like 1080p good quality not just fucking console old 1080p and shit but um amazing 1080p quality in the next year or two basically um i'd give it a couple of years and from what he said and everything it's, it sort of sounds like this is like the first sort of step to that's like really revolution revolutionizing everything and gaming and how we see things and like you've got to understand that what he's put together is not like the Wii and it's not like Kinect on the Xbox where you know you move and then it's a sensor and all that kind of gay shit this is like literally if you look up um, <laughs> the screen m moves up and all that shit and um, you still have to play with uh, I can't remember if it was a keyboard or mouse or a controller he uses a controller but it would also be with a keyboard and mouse 
and that's to aim and stuff but eventually you would uh change and then the actual controls and all that um that you remember off by heart you know they can change the actual input and all that so kind of stuff so that'd be sick and um so you can't actually see the controller when you're playing with it so you gotta know it off by heart but i'm sure most people would be fine no one really looks at their controller when they're playing cod anyway um if it was to come to cod and it's just, oh, you just have to watch the video it's fucking sick it's hard to ex explain it all because the man is so smart and his vocabulary is fucking amazing but um yeah like there was also um a few more limitations like the frames per second and the field of view sort of thing the field of view is like a certain degrees and most xbox games are s between 60 and 80 on console um i'm pretty sure cod is 65 correct me if i'm wrong it might be 60 but i think it's 65 and if you're playing pro mod everyone will know you play on 80 or 90 however much um and yeah it's so the degree changes but he could only get it to 45 at the moment so it's a bit off and it'll be a bit weird for everyone but um everything he's talked about sounds like it only needs probably four five years until like it gets a lot more polished like this is sort of like the the groundwork for everything and then it sounds like you know in 10 years time this will be like the social norm sort of thing like a lot of gamers will have this and it'll be fucking sick um because that's something you know i've always thought about that'd be fucking sick if like you could look you could just like turn around and then wherever your eyes like look basically and your head moves sort of thing that's um where you like actually look on the screen if that makes sense and he said each um each other headset like the people have used um virtual reality headset that people have used in the past they're all up to 100 milliseconds of delay which you know you really 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 don't want and then he's managed to bring that down as well so if that could like get down to even 30 or 20 milliseconds of delay then you wouldn't notice it as much and it'd just be fucking sick and oh it's just hard to explain it all but yeah, um, interesting news. I hope you guys liked this commentary and what I've talked about. And I'm going to leave the links in the description because it's really interesting to read. And it's really interesting to watch. Um, there's three videos, three parts of the videos you got to find on the um, on the CBG one. Or you can read the PC Gamer article. And he expects it to be like 500 bucks for a starter kit. But, you know, if that gets backed by big publishers in, you know, probably five to eight years time then that could be fucking insane even if it is five to eight years time the future is looking very promising so yeah give the video a like if you want articles in the description follow me on twitter all that shit like subscribe whatever's not really fast and yeah leave your opinion in the comment section down below goodbye guys have a good day